Hey, howdy folks, this is Dave Brady. Looking at Hyperlinks Analog, and today again we're going to focus on Easy Wave. This is a little oscillator op amp design, uh, kind of interesting what you can do with operational amplifiers. In this case, it's uh, really a timing circuit. And we've got our op amp, and we've got it configured. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this capacitor, and I'm going to run a parametric sweep on it. As you can see, I've already got it set up. So we've got the capacitor, and we're varying the value from 20 nanofarads on up. And we'll go ahead and see what the impact is in terms of the waveform. So we've got Easy Wave, and again, I like the tree view. And because we ran our sweep, we have a bunch of different outputs. You can see. I've created quite a few different outputs. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Now, you know, it doesn't really do you much good to see that output signal is a bunch of squiggly lines. You can't really differentiate one from the other. But there's this handy dandy feature built in, which is a standard calculation. So we'll go ahead and look at the time domain. We'll set it to frequency. And We'll drag and drop SIG out in there. Now you have two choices. You can annotate it onto the waveform or you can plot a new waveform. So that's what we're going to do. And we can do it across the entire waveform or the only the visible reason, region we just zoom to or between two cursors. We're going to take the entire waveform. So let's go ahead and apply that. And we can see that by varying the capacitance value, we indeed change the frequency response of the oscillating output. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it's uh, a nice little feature. It's so easy to use. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do calculations. And you can uh, quickly see what the response of a timing circuit is. This would work just as well on a 555 timer as a, an amplifier. But I personally you know, like the novelty of what you can do with operational amplifiers. So in this case, that's really all I was showing you and how easy it is to calculate um, different frequency responses in Easy Wave. And again, it was a drag and drop interface, very easy to use. And, you know, if we wanted to, instead of um, looking at all of the waveforms at once, we could go ahead and expand SIG out and just look at them one at a time. All right, and you'll notice what's um, interesting about these different signals, and I'll show you a quick calculation. Um, let's look at the time domain. Let's look at duty cycle. Let's just take this one here, 6, 7. Again, plot it, apply it. And um, it's staying right around 50%. So... Um, the interesting thing about the uh, op amp oscillator versus the 555 is it's pretty much a 50% duty cycle kind of oscillator. So if you ever need a 50% duty cycle, and right now I'm just scrolling back and forth with the uh, mouse, and you can see how quick the response is of EasyWave. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by.